How do we create and link tables from Excel to PowerPoint using ThinkSell? Now, I want you to pay really close attention in this lecture because this is where it gets interesting. So let's say I want to show all the users by region and evolution of these users from January to December. Now, firstly, pay attention to the format that I'm using um, and I'm going to explain this. Um, it's basically a custom thing, a particularity of ThinkSell that you should always leave this row between the table headings and the actual data empty. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole table and that's all you have to do in Excel. You just have to select the whole table. So that stays selected. Now I'm off to PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, I'm going to go on the insert tab. I'm going to click element and here I can choose what type of graph I want to insert. So for the thing that I want to do for the evolution uh, by region for every month, I'm going to use a stacked column and notice how I can actually dictate the orientation of this table. So I'm going to choose this and now I can place it wherever I want in this slide. So I'm just going to put it here in the middle. Now it's just going to create this automatic table where you can input values. It basically generates sort of a spreadsheet. And if you want to add manual data, then it's up to you. You can do it this way, um, but that's how it creates a new table. Now notice how this table looks at this very moment. It doesn't look too good and it's not synchronized with our Excel table, but we've selected that table in Excel. So ThinkSell actually remembers that. And then what you actually have to do is you right click on this table and you establish Excel link. So it's always this button here. And once you press it, it computes and it will generate the table for you. There we go. Still doesn't look too good, but this is a bit more promising. Now, because the numbers are too big, I'm going to format this now. Uh, very quickly, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do this in a later lecture, but I just don't want to see it like this because it doesn't look good at all. So now that I formatted like this, it's much cleaner. As you can see, I'm just going to expand the table and I'm not going to go into details about how we can make this look better. Just Bear in mind the aspects of synchronizing the table for now. Now, as we're switching back to Excel, let's look how this link that has been created, what it looks like. So you can see this table now has sort of an orange theme over it. This is the, this signifies the link between the PowerPoint and the Excel. Now, if you click on the left hand side or anywhere on the edges, you can actually select this. And what this does is it shows what range of data the table in Excel uses. Now I want to show you how clever ThinkSell is. And based on what I've showed you previously on how you can manually or automatically update charts or tables from Excel, you can see for yourself the differences and why ThinkSell is much more clever. Let's say I don't want to show all of these 12 months. I only want to show the first six. I simply drag this link around and I make the linkage just for the first six months. Now check this out. When I go back to PowerPoint and I select the table, ThinkSell has automatically detected that I changed the shape and you have this big button here, which tells you update. So once you click that, the table from 12 columns only shows six. So that's how clever it is. Whenever you modify a piece of data inside of the table, whenever you drag the area um, that you want to show in PowerPoint, either further or behind, it will prompt you that something has changed and you will be prompted to update it. So here am I doing, I'm doing it again and it's again the whole 12 months. So this is kind of an in-between um, the methods that we had for manual and automatic updating. It's not as extreme as automatically updating everything. However, it's not manual either. It will prompt you that something has changed and that's when you will actually update the table. Finally, the last point is maybe you want to unlink this table. 
for whatever reason. So there's two options that you can take. You can either right click and press this again to break the Excel link, or you can just go to Excel itself, select this and just delete it. Now I'm going to undo that. Oh, I actually can't undo that. So now when I go here, you will see that I can break the link as well. So now it's not synchronized with anything. The table still appears as it is, but there's no connection between it and the Excel. But we've seen how we can um, just fix that. We just select this, go back to the PowerPoint and establish the link again. So I hope that's clear for how you actually establish the link between Excel and PowerPoint via ThinkSell, how the software prompts you when something changes. And in the next few lectures, I'm going to show you exactly how to format the table and then how to tailor it so that it shows exactly what data you want it to show in the exact way that you want to show it.